Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to dive right in and I want to talk about the three biggest lies that I believed when it came to serving and offering my clients albums. I believed these lies. They were all these fear-based things that I believed uh, if I tried to offer albums or sell albums to my couples that would uh, it would affect my business in a way and they were all fear-based. They were lies and I want to share with those with you because maybe you've been thinking about serving your couples with albums and these things are holding you back as well. So I just wanna break those. And before I even get into those three lies, I wanna give you the three biggest reasons why you should be offering albums and why they're amazing, not just for you, but especially for your couples, for your clients and the service you give them. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is James Woody. My wife, Jess and I have run a destination wedding photography business for over 16 years for herself and 11 or 12 years for me now. And we have photographed over 400 weddings around the globe and we still do. And now we get to educate amazing photographers like you how to thrive in business and in life because I believe this life is big and beautiful and worth living to the absolute fullest. And that's what this channel is all about, teaching you how to do the same, whatever that looks like for you. So we're going to dive right in. If you follow Jess and I at all, you know that albums are a huge, huge passion of ours. It's a huge part of our business. Uh, they're a huge part of our lives. And I want to teach you a little bit about those today. So the three biggest reasons you should be offering albums is number one, experts don't stop at sending the photo gallery. Experts offer albums. You know, you give this amazing client experience, you take amazing photos, your clients are so happy with you, all to accumulate to this peak where they've gotten the sneak peek, you posted the Instagram, you did the reels, you did everything you needed to, and you hit send on that email. And the gallery goes out and you're just hoping they're not in an argument at Target, they're hoping they're in a good mood and they're gonna sit down and enjoy these images, and I'm sure they do. But that's where most photographers stop. Most experts don't stop. One of the reasons I decided to start printing our work for our couples, especially in albums, is because I was sick of just that being like the most anticlimactic form of wrapping up this client experience. Here you go, here's your images. Now I do that, but that's just one part of a system I've built that allows me to serve them even more. And I love gallery spaces. Just and I use CloudSpot. We absolutely love CloudSpot. It's safe, secure, it's user-friendly. They can favor their images. They can download them. They can share them. We can share them. They're backed up, all the good things, but that's not where it stops. That's just a piece of the puzzle. And if you're stopping there right now, it's okay, but let's keep moving forward. Let's decide right now to level up, and I want to teach you how to do that. So number one, why you should be offering albums is experts offer albums. Expert photographers who give expert work experience and products offer, and I like to say serve, their couples with albums because if you do it right, you're serving them so well. And that's point number two. Point number two is if you're not offering albums, your service isn't at its peak yet. You're leaving so much opportunity to love and serve your couples and your clients well if you are serving albums. I have seen reviews, I have hand delivered these before. I have people send me videos as thank yous. And like I said, galleries are great. But when someone is flipping through a tangible album that's guaranteed for life, that is made with museum quality paper, and it's the finest I've ever seen my work, it is a completely different experience. I have couples thinking me in tears because of it. And number three of many reasons, but some, my top three, why you should be offering albums is you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you're not serving your clients with albums. I don't care if you're charging $500, $1,000, $4,500, $10,000, $15,000, whatever you're at, you can be making money with albums all while giving expert, ex ex expert experiences and an expert service to your couples. I have people thanking me after they pay me large sums of money for their albums because I serve them so well with it. And this is, it's a win-win. This thing can change lives. I've seen it affect people emotionally and relationally and it's beautiful. So those are the three biggest reasons. And going back to experts don't stop uh, just sending the gallery. 
like I said, I love galleries. And the amazing thing about CloudSpot is you can click that little notification button and you see who's interacting with their galleries. And what I was sick of seeing was a client I photographed two, three, four, and 11, 12 years ago and a little ding, ooh, so-and-so's downloading their images. You know what that meant to me? It meant it was someone's birthday or it was their anniversary. Because after the first week you send that gallery and they download all of them or choose their favorites, I, I don't like to be like flippant with numbers. It's above 80% don't download their images for us personally afterwards unless it's for a specific thing. Because what are they gonna do with them? It's up to us to serve them more and offer that. And I thought that is, I want them to experience their photos daily, not on just on anniversaries, not on that. So if you experience that, I'm with you. So those are the three biggest reasons you should start offering albums. Experts offer albums. You're leaving a bunch of service on the table and you're leaving a lot of money on the table as well. And now that I hopefully have convinced you a little bit why albums are awesome, I wanna give you the three biggest lies that stopped me for nearly a decade from offering albums to our couples, to serving them more, to loving them more. And honestly, my bank account is thanking, for, thanking me for it now that I offer albums because it makes a good amount of money with minimal effort. You're not even shooting more, so it doesn't matter. You don't even have to add to your workload if you do it right. So number one, the number one lie I believed about offering albums is if I offered albums, I would leave this awesome experience I was given and ruin it and leave a bad taste in their mouth. You know, I thought if I do this whole thing and then I'm like, hey, I'm offering albums and turn into this salesman, they were going to get this nasty taste in their mouth and that all my referrals and all the praise I usually get from clients from giving good photos and experience and them falling in love with us and us having a relationship with them was gonna get ruined by offering albums. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I already said this earlier, I have couples thanking me who upgrade to insanely large albums. I've had a, someone offer, people do two volume albums and they're thanking me for the gift that it was. And I can tell you right now, it, the amount of referrals I get from albums, it's crazy. I have people who go over to other friends' house, clients' house, and they see these albums and they're engaged or they know someone that's engaged and I'm on the phone with couples and before they even wanna talk about the photography and their wedding day, they're asking about albums. That's how powerful th these things are. So that's amazing. That's the number one lie that was not true. It does not leave, if you do it right, which I'm gonna teach you, a bad taste in their mouth. If anything, it gives them more praise for you, giving you more business, uh, a better reputation, and overall happier clients. Number two, and this is a big one for me, I never, ever, ever wanted to, and I still refuse to this day to withhold images or files from my couples. It's just not my style. I've tried it in the past. I never felt comfortable with it. And I thought if I started offering albums or printing my work, I would have to say, hey, you don't get your images until you buy the album, or you only get the images in the album that you purchase. You can't download these until then. A lie, because I still give the images. They have all the high resolution images. They can download them all. They can share them. I even say print them wherever you want. But my experience and my service is so good and my system is so dialed, that every single one of my couples ends up upgrading and getting an album from me. And I can teach you exactly how to do that. And three, the other lie uh, that I was believing was, well, I have to do this kind of in-person sales type thing as people coin it IPS, because that's how I've always been told, if you do albums, you gotta not give the images and you gotta have them over in person, you gotta sell them everything. I don't have that luxury. Uh, Jess and I travel 50% of the year and almost every single one of our couples, even if they're getting married in Santa Barbara, is a destination for them, which means they don't live anywhere near me, which means I don't have the luxury of having them over to my studio or my living room or whatever and saying, hey, let's look at your images, here's your, here's your gallery, let's purchase albums now. That's just not how it rolls with us. And so I believed I had to do it in person and I've broken that because once I learned how powerful albums are, I dedicated a year, two years to perfecting a system that allows me to serve my couples with albums all via online with minimal emails and very simple software that just communicates with them and shows them what they need and it works. So the three biggest lies that I believe just reiterating was one, I thought it would make me sound salesy and ruin the experience, complete opposite. Two, I never wanted to withhold the files and I still don't, so that was broken, that's a lie. And three, I thought I had to do it in person and that's also not true.
So if I've convinced you at all, if you're thinking at all, if you're intrigued at all right now about albums, you probably have a lot of questions. That's because I had a lot of questions as I was learning this, but I just knew it came to a point where I really need, knew I needed to do this. And if you're at that spot, or maybe you're just curious and you have questions and you're like, okay, let's push a little bit more into albums. I'm curious about learning this. Jess and I made a completely free one hour long masterclass on albums. You can click that link below and you can literally start right now. I'm asking you if you're interested, just take an hour out of your day, press play on this, and by the end of that masterclass, I'm going to teach you the eight steps that allow Jess and I to do this with every single one of our clients that levels up their experience, that levels up our income, our bank account, all while creating raving fans. So if you're interested in that at all, feel free to click that link. That's my gift to you, hour long masterclass on how to sell albums. It's called the eight steps to selling albums and creating raving fans because that's exactly what it does in those eight steps. And like I said, all without withholding files, no in-person sales, no, no scammy sales tactics. I'm so glad Jess and I spent the time we did learning this because when we started, we were losing money because we we're like, I just want to offer albums, but I don't want to do it in a salesy way or a scammy way, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So instead, we just kind of stumbled our way through for a few years until we figured it out. And that's why I want to share it with you because you can skip over all that stuff uh, and that's just our gift to you. That's how passionate I am about albums because they changed our business and our income and our lives because of it. And they do the same for our clients. And I'm so happy we decided years ago to bridge that gap and offer albums. And if you have any questions in the meantime, uh, feel free to hit me in the comments here. You can find me on Instagram at James Woody. You can find Jess at Jess Fairchild. And until next time, friends, just know that you are capable of great and amazing things. And I will see you in the next episode.